Hello everyone, Hassel from Hassel Users here, ready to review Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. The latest edition in the Mad Max uh, film series, and the first prequel, prequel slash spin-off to it, centered around the breakout uh, character from, from the previous film, Fury Road, Furiosa. And, well, I was interested. Uh, I guess I should mention what I think of the other Mad Max films. Uh, I I really love them, I think they're... They're great, uh, you know. They they really defined a you know so you know survival films and you know post apocalyptic action and all that. And you know they show what you know, and they really are great Australian made films. I, I think uh, the the if I had to pick my favorites, I would say uh, Beyond Thunderdome of the original trilogy and well yeah Fury Road is, is just a it's just a oh geez it's a action-packed uh spectacle <laughs> yeah and you know as i said it launched australian films to a wider audience and you know again and was also the introduction pretty much the beginning of george miller's uh directorial career so here he comes with this uh with this pr prequel slash spin-off i mean furiosa was the standout character in, in fury road and it only makes sense that we dive more into her backstory and learn more and more from the bits we did learn in Fury Road. And, well, yeah, it's a good movie. I, I really think it's a good movie. Um, I guess there's not really much to talk about, as we mainly, in terms of the plot, I should say, is that if you know, if you remember what we learned about Furiosa in Fury Road, you'll pretty much know exactly what the story beats are. She was a, she was a girl who was taken away from a, from a, from a childhood home, and ended up eventually ended up in the in the well custody of of the main villain villain in Mor in Morton Joe. Um, eventually, she would right climb through the ranks and become one of his top lieutenants, and eventually would betray him at well at the start of the previous film. But we but here we learn that she that's actually not the case. It wasn't actually Joe who technically uh, any one of Joe's uh, clan that took her. It was actually run by a, se a separate person who, she was actually taken away by a clan of a separate person and who eventually became uh, allies but with Joe, but very begrudgingly on Joe's side in the form of a biker warlord known as Dementus, played by Chris Hemsworth. And yeah, and we see how event when she was taken in, taken by Joe's uh, army, uh, she eventually she she eventually uh she had to hide her gender for a very long time before she finally um you know became you know she, she worked up the courage to become a you know the, a top female lieutenant um going as we see her from a young child to eventually a i'm not sure if a teenager or just maybe a 20 mid 20 year old woman with this case played by anya taylor joy and yeah eventually we see you know you know, becoming who she is and getting the revenge, her revenge on the man who, on Dementus, who we learn actually when he, she, when he was take, when she was taken from her family, her mother actually tried to save her, but she ended up witnessing her mother get, um, get tortured and killed by Dementus. Yeah, so that that's really all I can really say, um, because as I said, I think you should all, you can kind of get, guess. If, as I said, this is a prequel, so you know what's going to have end up end up happening. But you know, give credit where credit's due. It the story is simple enough to follow, and and you can and when you finally get to see moments where you know of what when you see what shapes her, like when she loses her arm, her arm and has to put on that uh, robotic or you know that metallic limb on there that we that we know she has in Fury Road. That, that's a pretty satisfying moment. And um, yeah, when she gets her revenge on on Dementus and everything, that, that's fine. Um, um, and of course, when you see uh, Morton Joe and all the characters that all the villains from Fury Road, when they're actually actually on the on her side in this film, it's uh, it's pretty nice to see. <laughs> pretty creative, oh, good, I should say. Well, surprising, but um, anyway, um. Outside of that, and uh, what I think really helps is the acting. But the best thing I think is the acting. This, um, Anya Taylor Joy, Joy does a good job as a young, as a young Furiosa, and yeah, you know, 
totally by her that she would eventually become, you know, Anya would, Anya's rendition would become Farron's rendition, um, to be fair. Yeah, and, you know, she gets a lot. And I really like the quiet, and she does a lot of talking. It's mostly showing with emotion, with her emotions, and she does a really good job with this. Chris Hemsworth is really entertaining as the villain, as Dementus. I don't think I've seen Hemsworth play that many villains. Hang on. Yeah, don't think it's... I don't see how I've seen him, think I've seen Hemsworth play too many villains, but he does a really good job as this black wall. Yeah, so as I'm saying, I think Hemsworth is really good as this, vil as this villain, and I wonder if he actually does more villains in the future. I mean, I like him playing a hero, but, you know, I think he, he's proven that he can do a good villain. And, you know, when you see the other actors, and the other actors also do a good job. Um, The visual effects, I mean, they definitely keep to the, the style of Fury Road, but have its own unique flair. I mean, it still looks grand, and the shots of the desert and the cinematography are great. The vehicle combat is still as fantastic. The highlight, I think, is the middle fight. It is the fight in, uh, um, in the middle of the film. Yeah, just, but yeah, which is the most reminiscent of Fury Road. But yeah, it still does a good job. It's still a good fight, uh, action scene. I love how it keeps the continuity. I love... The makeup still is fantastic. The costumes as well. I mean, Miller's style is right in center. It's fantastic. Um, but I think the two things I gotta give. Uh, I think the big, the two things I gotta be critical over with this. Well, I guess I think it's not as uh, flashy and new as Fury Road was. I mean, I mean, Fury Road was it's was such a big. Uh, was so creative and and action packed. I mean that that climax of is one is one of the best cli the climax of Fury Road is one of the best I've seen in any film to be honest. So it was gonna be it's gonna be hard to top. And while I think the mill fight comes close, a, a lot of the other the other fights are more one on one. You know, it's not well, okay. There's not it's mostly you see Furiosa on her own as she fights. I mean, which okay makes sense, but you know. When you had in the in the previous film, you know Max and Furiosa fighting all of Joe's Joe's uh, henchmen and, and all the other you know the all the women they're trying to save and some of the turn and the turn henchmen that turned on on Joe to side with them, yeah that that was that was great, but you know you don't really see that in this, so it's not as yeah so it's not as flashy, and I think the side characters that we see in this, I. They're not. You don't really care that much about them. I think it's because you know this is a pre, and that's because this is a prequel. You know that these cat, these characters that you see in this film are aren't going to be around for Fury Road, so they're most likely going to be killed anyway. So yeah, I mean, you don't really care too much about it, but you do. At the very least, they do these. Their deaths help shape Furiosa into what we know her as in in the future. So. So that do, that helps, but you know, you could have could have been a bit more interesting. I mean, yeah, I was just thinking, you know. But with that said, I think Furiosa is a great film, and honestly, I think at the moment it's probably the best film we could probably see in theaters at the moment. I mean, I don't. Uh, there are other films that are meant to come out, but at the and I will probably get review them soon. But at the moment, Furiosa, I think, is the best film currently out of theaters. Um. It's not, it's not the best Mad Max movie, um, or in the Mad Max film series, but it, it's still high up there. Honestly, I think it's even, it's probably a higher than at the very least. Well, I know it's higher than two, um, in my view, and maybe even one, at least on my scale. But you know, I don't know if it's above Thunderdome. To be fair, I'll, I'll have to think about it again. But I do rate this really highly. I guess give us an eight point five out of ten has stars. It's a it's a great film. Definitely worth your time to watch if you're a Mad Max fan, and if you like some you know post apocalyptic action films, give us a watch. You you'll have a good time, especially especially if you're fans of a uh, Furiosa. And I don't know, maybe give a chance to see what Hemsworth give a shot of seeing how Hemsworth can be as a villain in a movie. Yeah. Well, what's next? Um, not too sure. Just have to wait and see. You know, where will be a, you know, a film that 
um, that's in, released in theaters or something else. You'll just have to wait and see. But in the meantime, House of Mass Reviews is out, and I shall see you next time. Ciao.